If you have a credit card from China, please take it out of your wallet and have a quick look at it. Like this one. Some of you would find this mark, it's Union Pay. And for some of you, this, it's MasterCard. It mostly appears on cards used for international travel where the payment process is different. And sometimes it, like this, appears alongside Union Pay. Now, MasterCard is a US credit giant. It is the second overseas bank card got approval for clearing operation in China. The Chinese central bank announced on November 19th that it and the National Financial Regulatory Administration have approved an application by MasterCard's Chinese joint venture to conduct bank card clearing operations in the country. Simply put, MasterCard will be able to start issuing yuan-denominated bank cards under its own brand. According to reports, Chinese MasterCard holders will be able to use the card directly in over 100 million businesses around the world. The move is conducive to building a stable bank card clearing market structure in China with effective competition and deepening the supply-side structural reform of the payment industry. I think that we bring three things really to the market. Um, we bring our innovation, um, we also bring our global connectivity, and we bring the opportunity for partnerships, partnerships with local players in the Chinese market to actually bring something new to the market. Good news for the financial industry, right? Well, it isn't the only industry getting it. Chinese airlines have resumed a number of direct flights between Chinese and U.S. cities. These include Air China's flight CA817, traveling from Beijing to Washington, D.C. Uh, Broadcom, would it get the approval it needed from the antitrust regulator in China? They have. They got it. The summit between Chinese President Xi Jinping and U.S. President Joe Biden took place on November 15th. These are the changes that have happened since. High standard opening up requires China's engagement with the world, and you cannot get around the United States if you are to do so. We see here, from finance to aviation or tourism to individual business, China has demonstrated the willingness to fulfill and act fast on its promises. I, I think that China, to its credit, has been fairly good about taking on board criticism, constructive criticism, when it comes to improvements around the economy and in infrastructure around so it. So it's important that you take little steps to rebuild trust, rebuild the belief in the people of China and the people of the United States that there are benefits from U.S.-China relationship. We've been taking many significant steps in the less than 10 days since the summit. Fixing what's broken requires more effort, more initiation, and more concrete action. And as long as the conditions are right, we can expect this trend to continue.